Hi, welcome everybody. I'm Grant Cayley, the Chief Technologist for NetApp in the UK and Ireland. Uh, and I'm going to talk to you today around about how NetApp's e-series platform is really the best storage for things like video surveillance uh, and backup data. Actually, it's got a wide set of use cases, but I'll touch briefly on those. There's a link at the bottom of the slides there to the product and more detail on it. So please do feel free uh, to go and have a look at that. So I think the E-Series platform is actually available in two different flavors. It's the E-Series where it uses uh, hybrid hard disk drives, and it's the EF series where it uses all flash SSD drives. But essentially, it's the same product, but delivering different uh, capabilities depending on the use case. And the first thing that it delivers, and really, when you think about E-Series, it, it is an enterprise block device. That's what it does. It's not as rich in data management as, say, for example, NetApp's ONTAP platform. But what it enables is firstly, well, three different things. The first is high performance. It delivers the best performance for price that you will see across any enterprise storage platform. And actually, there's over a million deployments of this product worldwide. So that's been proven in, in the adoption of capabilities that it brings. It has the fastest SPC uh, one and two benchmarks that you can find when you look at price and performance. It will deliver blistering, you know, I think, and actually I'm slightly out of date, it delivers over 34 gigs per second in terms of throughput at less than 0.2 of a, uh, you know, uh, sorry, less than 0.2 of a millisecond latency. So really capable product when you use the SSDs. When you use the hard disk drives, you're able to deliver capacity at scale. And the product itself is really designed to plug into the back of any technology that you have, any server. It has a range of protocol options. It provides API access and orchestration tools. And it really becomes the building block because it's simple to manage, simple to deploy, for data storage in the enterprise. The reliability of it is probably what appeals to a lot of customers. It will deliver, and actually we, tend, we see across the board, six or seven nines of availability. And when you aggregate that across a million units that have been sold out there, you can really see the, the capability of the products and, and feature set that the customers are looking for. It comes in different flavors. So these are some of the ones on here. I'm not gonna go into the technical detail. But what these are is it offers you a combination of options. You can go for the EF600, which delivers high performance NVMe technology with a range of protocols and really for high performance workloads and NVM, you know, end-to-end -end NVMe. There's the mid-range, which offers the same capabilities, but at a more balanced price cost ratio using SSD drives. And then there's also the lower end flash version, which is really designed to deliver flash storage for any use at a, at a cost point that really makes it flexible. That's the EF version of the product, which is designed to deliver flash storage for a range of different use, use cases. The E-series version of this product uses spinning disk drives. It can be the E5700, which delivers up to 480 disk drives, a range of protocols that you can connect in. So you can use it as a block uh, SAN device using a fiber channel. You can SAS connect it directly to servers. You can use it across IP using iSCSI. You can use InfiniBand to connect, particularly for HPC environments. Or you can use the, uh, the latest NVMe over Fabric protocol for extreme low latency, high performance access. But this platform is really designed for dense data storage uses. It comes in two flavors, the E5700 and the E2800, which is the kind of smaller version of this. But they're all designed to deliver high performance, uh, dense data storage for whatever application you might put in there. The actual feature set that comes across it is not as fully featured as you'd get from a, an enterprise primary storage array, but it's not designed to be. It's designed to let the application deliver most of the features that it requires. The storage array delivers performance, density, cost, and reliability. And we deliver you know, industry-leading RAID. It's not actually called RAID, it's dynamic disk pools. That's the latest technology that enables you to aggregate all those disks. Sparing and RAID and protection is all taken care of within a single pool. It delivers snapshots and replication capabilities. It plugs into our data uh, active IQ environment to make sure you have dashboarding and management across multiple products. And then it enables a set of data assurance capabilities and additional kind of enterprise security and administration features. And if you require encryption across that product, it has encrypting disk drives that you can deploy within that as well. But the focus area for this product, if you're looking at where would you use it, is really about, about four primary use cases. The first is video surveillance, where you need dense, fast, reliable storage to be able to store multiple, you know, tens or hundreds of cameras 
and store those video feeds. And you see it used on the back ends of video editing software uh, and all sorts of other use cases in that kind of uh, space as well. It's used in high performance computing where performance is obviously a big advantage to that, whether it's scalable file systems across that. It's used as the back end for analytics, whether it's Splunk or Hadoop or whatever you happen to be using. But it's also used for backup and recovery and it's integrated into some of our vendor platforms or also attachable as, as an additional set of storage for those platforms. And I'll talk just about those, uh, those two use cases of video surveillance and backup and recovery. But if you want more information on the total set of use cases, please don't, uh, you know, go and video, the, uh, sorry, visit the link that was at the beginning of the website and you'll get more information from that. So one particular use case that we see a lot of E-Series deployed for is around uh, backup and recovery. It's integrated with Commvault, Veeam, and Veritas in terms of solutions which they offer. And it provides that dense, high-performance sequential access for backing up to and for recovering from. And because you can scale it to whatever capacities that you're looking for, and you have full data protection in terms of protecting and being able to recover that data, you've got a solution which integrates really nicely for that backup and recovery use case. It doesn't provide bells and whistles on top of that. It just delivers highly performant, reliable, disk storage, which integrates fully into the backup products that you might be using in those environments. Very capable in terms of what it delivers there and also very scalable with up to you know 5.7 petabytes of capacity per system. And obviously you can have multiple systems if you scale beyond that. The other use case that's really interesting is video surveillance. Video surveillance, you know, nowadays we're into 4K video, 8K video, the requirements from a data storage perspective have gone exponential in terms of how much storage you need. But what also is required is performance to be able to store those video streams and to replay them on demand effectively. There's no point putting in video storage that can only host four, six, 10, 20 cameras. E-series video storage you can put in place and it will protect and store for hundreds of cameras, for example, you know, thousands of cameras, depending on the configuration options that you deploy. And what's important with that video stream is it's often a system of record as well. So you need to be able to make sure that it's available, it's recoverable and it's protected from failures. And actually those failures have to not impact the capability of continuing video recording. And that's where the uh, dynamic disk pool technology is really important because it spreads that load out. It makes it very low impact, even though you have disk failures in the environment. And that really is where it appeals uh, to a lot of customers. And we've got customers deploying this in airports, in transit hubs, in all sorts of locations where they're doing a lot of heavy video recording from tens or hundreds or, or even thousands of cameras. So the product is really designed very capably for dense storage for backup, but also for dense and highly performance storage uh, for video surveillance as well.